Sander and Handicap Chase is next in. Two miles, six furlongs, to 90 again. So really low grade, this low grade. And the Hunters and it's on International Rescue for Paul Rhodes at the top. Danzig Caramel for Thomas Rogers. Strategic Goodbye, B. Fotheringham River. Bounty, OB1 and Edge 4 threes. Thomas Rogers. So it's about the lowest grade chases you can get. And away they go. And it's River Bounty. who's going to be the first to show. As we get to the first of the 18. Over the second as well. So those two come together pretty quick. They're racing there towards a ditch, which will be fence number three. And River Bounty is in the lead from International Rescue. And they're over that safely. River Bounty in front. Dunzig Caramel has now just moved through in a second. As they head down towards the railway fences with the River Bounty in the lead. We're going to see the railways from the inside this time. And over the first one they go. Over the second one they go. And over the third one they go. A bit of a mistake by Danzig Caramel, but all over it okay. And River Bounty in the lead by four lengths to International Rescue second. Cap of three then to Strategic Goodbye, who's third. And then Edge Four Threes and Danzig Caramel are the back two. Come to take the pond fence next. And River Bounty will lead them into it. All safely over that one. Two in the straight. With the River Bounty. Two lengths clear. It's over it nicely. International Rescue just sitting quietly in second. I expect that one to be the one that most people will be selecting to win. With Strategic Goodbye back in third as they come up past the stand then. Bounty will lead past the winning post then with a complete circuit to go. International Rescue second, Strategic Goodbye third, Edge fourth, Reese fourth, and Danzig Caramel fifth. The order has been pretty much the same throughout. I really don't know why when they filled this water jump in at Sandown they didn't put another fence in instead because this is an awful long run between. What is the final fence and what is the first fence on the next circuit? It's an absolute mile. Well, not, not, it's not a mile, but you know what I mean. It's a very long way without a fence to negotiate on a course which is one of the prestige jumping courses. So that's a little bit of something that is a little bit puzzling to me anyway. But anyway, River Bounty's in the lead from, each, from International Rescue in second. Each will freeze on the outside of Strategic Goodbye and then a gap back to. Danzig Caramel as they continue this long run down towards the double as it's known as they get over this one uh, over the first part of it quite easily uh, a bit slow or strategic goodbye at that one you can see the way this course is set out the fences come up thick and fast when they do come up and then there's just miles without any but it's real about you now about to be joined by International Rescue Make their way down to the pond fences with not well, the pond fences, the railway fences. <laughs> Come strategic goodbye in third. And edge four freeze and dancing caramel towards the back. So just six furlongs to race then. And a good jump by the leader there. River Bounty got over that first one of those railways and took a length out of the field and did the same at the third one as well. Also a good jump by strategic goodbye. So just three to jump now then. And River Bounty has been in the lead all the way. Strategic goodbye. He is making a forward move now in a second. I think he's done much on international rescue yet. We'll have to start getting that one going soon. Danzig Caramel Edge 4 threes look to be totally out of it, but River Bounty is still in front and has been in the lead all the way coming out of the pond fence with Strategic Goodbye in second and International Rescue third. Over it they go. And a 
much better jump again by Strategic Goodbye, but River Bounty is still battling on well in front. They've just got two more fences to take now then, and it's River Bounty in the yellow from Strategic Goodbye in the pink, and then International Rescue in the green and yellow trying to run on and doing so. They're coming down towards this second last now, and as they take it, oh, he's nearly gone, Strategic Goodbye. Strategic Goodbye was just about to take it up. In fact, he has taken it up despite that mistake at the final fence. He gets over that one nicely, better jump by International Rescue. It's a furlong running uphill then now. It's Strategic Goodbye in the lead. International Rescue is trying to close, but I think Strategic Goodbye's got enough to hold him. And up towards the line, Strategic Goodbye is going to take it. International Rescue second. Danzig Carroll went on to be third. River Bounty was a little bit unlucky in fourth. An edge four threes was the last one to finish, so they all got round. They all pick up some prize money to pay for their keep. And Strategic Goodbye, despite that mistake at the second last, still takes it and that's a win for B Fotheringham I think indeed it is strategic goodbye for B Fotheringham International Rescue for Paul Rose second Danzig Caramel for Thomas Rogers third River Bounty for Obi won the long time leader was fourth and Edge 4 Freeze for Thomas Rogers again was fifth